All right, let's take a live look outside right now as the clouds start to fill in on Tybee Island. This is our Hotel Tybee camera dry at the beach at the moment. That could change though as we go into this evening. Not expecting any severe storms out there, but there could be some rain squeezed out of the clouds. Let's take a look at a stormy sky though, where we did have a strong storm move through Bullock County. Patrick Reinhardt was near Statesboro. A little mini shelf cloud on the leading edge of this associated with some of the outflow rushing out from the thunderstorm non severe up there, but it just dumped buckets on Statesboro there for a brief amount of time. That storm is transitioning now into Screven County down I 95 into Bryan and Liberty counties. These storms have weakened quite a bit. Now they're just plain old rain showers, not seeing any lightning down there at the moment. Still some lightning strikes, heavy torrential rainfall in from this storm that's over Sylvania up toward Lewis. It's tracking across Highway 21 and it's movement about 25 to 30 miles per hour to the northeast. Now this is all wrapping around what is now subtropical depression Alberto as it moves into Tennessee and with that counterclockwise spin and still taking the Gulf moisture, throwing it across the southeast. We have a couple more days of this southerly flow, which will usher in moisture and continue our rain chances. Let's just talk the next 12 hours. Temperatures at 7 p.m. as clouds rush in. Maybe a thunderstorm around about a 40% chance of getting wet. 30% chance of a handful of showers lingering at 10 p.m. And then the rain will mainly turn off tonight. Tomorrow morning, just the slightest chance of an isolated shower. Most areas are dry for the commute, but grab an umbrella. Just keep it on standby at this hour. Temperatures in the low country where there's been little to no rain today in the 80s. That's the warmest spot 80 in Savannah, and then you find the clouds and showers and it drops down to 73 with that downpour that just passed through Statesboro 76 in Midway, and they also have a few showers down into portions of Liberty and Long counties. Now future cast 6 AM tomorrow morning for the commute could be some clouds out there, but just have the umbrella ready. You'll notice a few showers start to pop up right around midday on Wednesday. These will be tracking near and just to the west of I 95, a little bit less of a rain chance along the coast and a little bit higher chance for inland areas. There could be some embedded downpours with a few thunderstorms developing during the afternoon. Severe weather chance is not zero tomorrow, but it is very, very low. We're looking at just these general pop up showers and thunderstorms during the peak of daytime heating. That chance will actually drop off quite a bit for Saturday. 20% chance of a stray shower, 94 degrees Sunday, 92, 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms right now. The pick day to be outside looks to be Saturday if you can deal with the heat for tonight. 70 to 76 degrees. A couple showers hang around. The threat of thunderstorms will start to diminish this evening, but we can still have a few raindrops by say 10 11 PM this evening. Now upper 80s Wednesday and Thursday still a pretty good chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Rain chances start to drop. Temperatures start to go up for Friday, Saturday and Sunday as highs will jump to the low to mid 90s and it will certainly be humid those days. As we go into next week, just can't quite shake the rain chance yet. We'll see highs fairly seasonal right around 90.